Hello everyone and welcome back to another edition of Dime Box Discoveries. Hello to any new subscribers and welcome back to uh, some of my previous subscribers. You know, it's amazing that anyone subscribes at all. I honestly started doing this uh, a while back just so I could remember what I bought. And then people actually started watching and it kind of confused me, but I'm glad you're here. So let's uh, show you what we found. This is all from a dime box, a couple of here, some quarters and some things and a couple of bit of trade things. But I got a chance to go through some dime boxes even before they hit the um, show showroom floor. So we'll show you what I pulled out of a dime box and uh, show you what we got into. Um, let's start off. You know, if you've seen me before, you know I love my food stuff. So some Jimmy Dean sausage with Yaz, two of the same. You say, Jeff, why'd you buy two of the same? My hope is always, well, if I'm working on this set, maybe somebody else is, and they've got extras where they can trade me out for some of those, um, some of their doubles. Anyway, Cracker Jack, Vlad Guerrero. And not people food, but pet food, the Milk Bone, Larry Walker, Superstars. Getting pretty close to that complete set, actually. Um, sticking with some foodstuffs and cereals, this is a 1991 sports flick out of Kellogg's, Raleigh Fingers. 1992 out of sports flick, uh, Kellogg's, out of Kellogg's sports flick, Rod Carew. These are 1981 um, Kellogg's 3D Super Surge Lopes and Smith. Reggie, by the way, Reggie Smith, if you don't know, the dude put up some seriously good numbers. Just go back and look. He was consistent. He was awesome. Doesn't get the credit he deserves. Now, this is the most expensive card I bought. It was a dollar, not two dollars, a dollar for the Corn Flake set with Hank Aaron. Um, that one also, same one as the Rod Carew set. Or, no, sorry, Raleigh Finger set, 1991. Um, but, you know what? I'm going to chase after that set. Now, regionally, since I live in the Cincinnati area, I come across red sets, and these are awesome. You don't see these a whole lot. This is the Texas Gold is ice cream, 1986. You don't see a lot of these. This is nearly the complete set. A couple of the stars pulled out. I think Larkin is in this in 86. I have to go back and look and see. I know there's a couple Pete Rose pulled out, but it does have the Tony Perez, the Dave Parker, the Dave Concepcion, Buddy Bell, Mario Soto, and then just a bunch of the other reds. So that is fantastic. You don't come across these a lot. So that was really cool for a diamond piece. Um, and then these are cons from 1988. Chris Abel hadn't even made the major leagues yet. Well, I mean, he was in the major leagues in 1988, but, you know, previous year he was still in the minors. Sabo will go on to win Rookie of the Year and win the hearts of everyone with his rec specs. Um, so these are cons, a hot dog company from 1988. Um, there's Tom Browning. So these are really cool, too. And I wanted the complete set so much, it's not complete. It's missing a couple of the key stars once again, um, including the Larkin. And uh, I wanted so much, I even bought the two coupons that come with it. Um, so there you go. Get you some corn dogs, get you some hot dogs, 25 cents off. And then a couple of, these are cons from 1990. Danny Jackson, Ron Oster. And then check out this Eric Davis. That's really cool. I think this is a cons once again. See, if you don't know, cons was a really big uh, hot dog and meat company. And Cincinnati, which is known as Porkopolis. We won't go into that too much, but um, anyway. So, Khan's always put out a set for the hometown team. And it was really cool. This one's from 1996. Uh, Eric Davis, Jose Rio. Yep, and Chris Sabo. So, a couple stars there. Uh, some key coaches there. And then just Bronson Arroyo and Adam Dunn. Once again, Khan's from 2006. So, those are really, really cool. If you're anyone from Cincinnati or the Cincinnati region... You know how cool those were as a kid. The Texas Gold are really nice fine. I really dig those. So let's throw it back to some old school players. Of course, these are all reprints. But I still, I love the reprints. I, I can do some artwork with them, do some cool stuff with them. So there's, there's Henry Aaron, Warren Spahn, Yogi Berra. This Jackie Robinson on Big League is just really cool. I like what they did there. Um, I've always liked that artwork design from the 50s slash 60s uh, kind of drawing. So I think that's really cool. Roy Campanella, if you've seen my stuff before, you know I collect Roy. Uh, Ernie Banks, Ted Williams, Big League Spring Training, Babe Ruth. Those are kind of cool. These are the uh, Kramer, is that what these are? Baseball legends, uh, Kramer Sports from the early 80s, Walter Johnson, the big train. There's a Stan Musial. Reprint of the Yaz rookie card, which looks really cool. Honus Wagner, Pee Wee Reese. There's a Jackie Robinson statue. And then Frank Robinson, Dave Parker, there's a Bob Feller. This is the red foil, Andre Dawson, a slight variation, but really not that big of a deal. Still kind of cool. I really like the stadium clubs from, from this year. Um, and then Roberto Clemente, I thought it looked cool. So how about some Cincinnati Reds? You know I pull out my Reds, guys. Uh, no, I'm sorry, there's not Reds. Oh, there, some of them are Reds, obviously. 
Um, they are the Topps All-Star Rookie Cup trophy cards. I have collected every single one. I have every single one from 1960 on up to now. In fact, I'm going to show you some of that stuff in a different video that I have the most complete set of this anywhere in the world, and I'll explain that in a different video. But this one's really cool. I bought it, didn't realize what it was. It's not a normal Topps. It's actually the Cincinnati team set um, from that year. So from Jay Bruce, really kind of cool. I didn't realize that until I got home. Tyler Stevenson, Railer, Tyler Stevenson, open any day. Jonathan Newman day. Tyler Relton, OPG. So that's really cool. I, I just, I want the main ones. I have all those, but I do collect the variations and I enjoy that. Rod Crew, obviously, reprint. Tom Seaver, reprint. That was a really good Topps All-Star uh, rookie team. 1967 cards. Um, so kind of dig it. Billy Williams in a reprint. And there's a Christmas one from Lewis Robert. Okay. Now we go some reds. And this one is really cool. This one's going to stay in the personal collection. Scott, the guy who had the boxes, gave this one to me because I said for sure, you know, it's reds, it's weird, it's 1989, and it's also Pizza Hut. Check this out. And I looked it up. Pin number three of five. This action on the bottom, it's perforated. There was a pin that came with it. It's a five card set of the reds. I've never seen these before. So totally awesome. Totally dig it. Uh, Joey Votto, 1988 uh, style, which is really cool. Johnny Bench World Series. This one just looks really cool. I just dig it. Um, looks cool. This is Johnny Bench, the Reds, all-time Reds, and the black and white. You don't come across the black and white a whole lot, which is really cool. Uh, the Frank Robinson story. There's Seaver, Foster, Browning, and the KB Toys, Paul O'Neill, uh, Barry Larkin, and Sean Casey in a different kind of set. Uh, looks like a red set. Uh, Johnny Vandermeer, he of the back-to-back no-hitters. Reds, Tony Perez, 85, Foster, uh, 82 Fleer. There's the 72 Joe Morgan minis reprint. Uh, Johnny Bench, class three from Top School Label. Johnny Bench from the update set. Kind of cool. Tony Perez, Eric Davis, and the Tops Kids. I just enjoy the artwork. Uh, Eric Davis, Morgan. Hatterberg is actually out of 150. So that's kind of cool. I know there's some people going to be looking for that to complete a red set. Adam Dunn, man, the big donkey. Hit lots of homers. Here's playing for the Dayton Dragons. Um, their single A team that sells out every single baseball game. So that's really kind of cool. And there is Pete Rose Jr., um, who in his illustrious career at the Reds went two for 14. So there you go. Um, you're saying, why is Eric Davis not with the other Reds? Because these are some cool oddballs. This is Eric Davis from the Baseball Cards Magazine 1989. If you know me, you know I love my oddballs. That's great. There's Tony Gwynn from the same magazine. Uh, 1990 version. There's a Spud Sabo, again, in the Sports Illustrated for Kids. You know I was stoked to grab that one. I love my Sports Illustrated for Kids, and it's a Reds, and it's Sabo. So cool. And how about Jose Canseco and the unlicensed cards? You know, I love my licensed cards. That is a really cool one as well. So dig it. Let's move a little bit faster, shall we? I'm, I'm going too slow. Um, Ricky Henderson. And this one is cool. It's like really thick. I like that. Here's an, a Henderson in the Major League debut kind of set. Here's Henderson, the hit parade. That is a really cool pull. Um, and look at that. It's just we. I always said Chipper Jones and a pennant kind of thing. Chipper Jones and the steel. I like it because it, it's heavy. It's got some weight to it. It feels good. I like the feel of a card. I buy a lot of cards for the feel of them, despite who's on it or what it looks like. I just like the feel of that one. This one I bought because of the Nolan Ryan. It just looks cool. I just dig how it looks. Um, the Ryan Express. There's Ripken. And the. This is. Uh, oh, gosh. Independence. I think it's called the Independence version with the stars there. OPG, George Brett, really cool. Ty Cobb and Yaz and some Donneris. The Moussin is out of 99. That's really cool. Um, Gwen, I thought these were like some cool effects on the side. Just grabbed it real quick. That's actually paper loss, which pretty much destroys the card. I thought, wow, that's some kind of neat design. It is actually paper that's been scraped off. Um, anyway, no one writing the Coca-Cola, so that's a food stuff. Uh, Frank Vola, rookie card. And Ichiro in the 88 version set as well. That's kind of cool. Um, here we go. Billy Wagner, draft pick. That is the museum collection. I got a guy collecting those. really cool. JP Aaron Sibby in the opening day with the Topps All-Star Rookie card. And that is out of 2012 because that was a 2012 year. So that's really cool. Uh, Ryan Mountcastle from his first professional year. Um, this is really cool. Johnny Gomes. I didn't really pay too much attention to it. Um, I like the, the border, that black kind of almost looks like some kind of like tile in your in your kitchen. It's actually out of 63. So that's really cool. I didn't know that. Jared Kalenic, um, 
and you know, green, lime green, whatever. He's hitting the ball really well. Someone will probably want that now. Julio Rodriguez is outfield mate. George Brett and the Leaf Black Gold. I got a guy going for that set. I need to train some cars for some stuff that he has. So that's perfect for me. Sarah Bragg and OPG, Mazeroski, 87 throwback, Jason Bay, um, base, World Baseball Classic. And then these two are really cool. I dig, you know what I say, kind of art stuff. Those are really neat with uh, Syndergaard and, and Chris Sale there. So, all right, moving along. Jorge Posada, rookie card, silver signature. Really cool. Troy Gloss, this is a Topps Gold. It is out of the, it's out of, two, it's out of 2003, numbers out of 2003, because it was, came out 2003, so the next year in 2004, 2005, hence the JC, JP Aaron Sibby being numbered out of 2012. Also card number 69, I just noticed. Giggity. Um, AJ Hinch, U, uh, USA, you know I love my Team USA stuff. Um, that's really cool, especially from the 90s and 80s. Mariano Duncan, rookie card. No, not really, sorry. It's the Iconic Card set. Still really cool. Pull holes from the same thing, Iconic Cards. That's really kind of cool. Dodgers history, franchise history. Ebbets Field, what a beauty. Oh my gosh, beautiful, beautiful card. If you can't appreciate that out of a dime box, I don't know what you can appreciate. Mari Wills and Ernie Harwell. I love that Ernie Harwell as a fan favorite. In fact, I'm going to put it on the top. I want it out there. That is beautiful. Long, long, long time Tigers broadcaster. Speaking of Topps Gold, this is a Topps Gold that's out of 2008 because it came out in 2008. See, you're picking up on it now. It's A-Rod, Carlos Pena, and David Ortiz. There's a Shohei. Um, this is a rainbow foil of Adrian Gonzalez and Max Scherzer. Lane Thomas, who I actually interviewed him when I was working at Knoxville the day he got drafted in the major league. So I, I like to pick up his cards if I see him, especially if it's something shiny like that. And Jesus Sanchez, that's like a gold foil uh, kind of card. Somebody probably looking for that for their, you know, complete a set. Um, I'm working on all those A's Tops team sets. So here's a couple guys from the last two years. Nobody special. There you go. Keep moving on. Uh, Mark McGuire working on my PC for that. Needed that one, so that one got snagged for a dime. Here we go. Some more dimes. Catfish Hunter. These are like these 1975 SPCs. SSPCs. So Catfish Hunter is a really cool one. There is that Geronimo, that is Cesar Geronimo with the Reds, Ken Griffey Sr., and of course, George Foster. Man, he was a bad, bad man, but he's actually a very, very nice man. Um, easy to get an autograph from now. He's um, just around town a lot. And this one is a 1982 reprint. It shouldn't be in this bad of shape, but honestly, I kind of like it better because it's in this terrible shape. It makes it feel more authentic that it's not a reprint, but it obviously surely is a reprint because the regular ones were a much larger size. So, but it's beaten up, not worth a dime, but I like the fact that it's beaten up. So I think it's kind of weird that way. Uh, you'll find I collect stuff that I just like. Like I said, I like the feel of a card sometimes. Um, we'll talk about the smell of a card at a different time. Uh, Sean Kemp, I didn't go through the basketball boxes, but you know I love my Fleer Pro Visions. I love my art cards. Sean Kemp about to, uh, uh, you know, throw down a nasty dunk. So it's on the cute. That's really cool. Uh, now, these were a quarter piece. Which is totally fine by me. These are in-person autograph cards. You know, you can never tell for certain if they're real or not, but why is somebody faking a Pat Tabler? For me, this is a beautiful thing. Because number one, I collect all the guys who are from Cincinnati, played high school ball in Cincinnati. He went to Nick, McNicholas High School in Cincinnati. So, and look at this card. This is the way an autograph card should be. Beautiful blue ink, pops out, well-framed on the card, and it looks great. Uh, I love that. So these are all a quarter, Pat Tabler. Bill Doran, a couple of his. I, uh, you know, another Cincinnati guy. I actually work with a teammate of his in high school. How crazy is that? Bob Boone, born on my birthday. So share a birthday. And then randomly a Ron Washington for reasons I don't know or understand. But this is like his last year playing professional baseball, not counting the senior league when he played for the Oklahoma City 89ers, finished his career in the minor league. So that's just really cool. So here's a couple things. Whoops. Oh, oh, oh gosh. I'm just causing a mess. So this is a La Russa. 87 tops Tiffany traded. It's a thing of beauty. I actually traded for this one, but I forgot to bring the card for him to give him for this trade. So I've got it stacked up over in a corner with some other cards to give him. So Scott, your traded card, which is another tops Tiffany, Don Mattingly, 88. Coming back to him for this 87 tops Tiffany. It's a perfect trade out evenly for both of us looking for guys for sets. Ewing, this is for my guy Brent. Don't call me Kent. Um, so, but I think you actually already had this one, Brent, but he pulled. Scott knew I needed some Patrick Ewings for you, so he pulled some out for me. Jim Thorpe, 
Beautiful card. Oh my gosh, you know I love my Sports Illustrated for kids. One of my most favorite things, along with box bottoms. Um, a beauty, beauty of a card. And another Mark McGuire I needed. Check it out, just a beautiful, beautiful card. Now, a handful of football that were in there. Just want to show you these. These are these are two really cool cards. This is an Aaron Rodgers, okay? And I couldn't find what it was at first because it's 7 of 12, and it's kind of weird. It's out of the Packers Tops team set, 2008 Packers Tops team set, not out of the standard set. So you could buy them just like 12 cards of Packers players So before he actually really became the starter. So that is really, really cool. Um, and then this one right here. So I pulled this one out. So I'm like, okay, it's in, it's the 70s. It's in terrible shape, but it's 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 the Rattler. It's Ken Stabler. It's really cool, right? Um, and it's in worse shape than you think because the back, look at this. Someone must have like taped it up in the corners and then ripped it out. And to let you know what card number it is, they went ahead and were nice enough to write in 487. How nice of them. Now, when I grabbed that, I just from the pile because I'm like, you know me, I don't care much about condition. But I thought it's a second year card, right? Because you can see he had stats in 72. He played in 71. I looked it up. I had no idea until I got home. This is actually a Ken Stabler rookie card, which is totally badass and awesome. And I love getting off-condition rookie cards of 70s, 60s kind of guys who are Hall of Famers um, out of a dime box because I'm or a quarter box of mine because I'm never going to pay the full price for them. So this one beating the hell back is awesome. But I'm going to say this, Scott, I know you watch the videos, man. If you didn't know it's a rookie card and you want it back, shoot me a text. It's all yours, man. I'm returning it back to you if you want it because I ain't going to take it out of a dime box if you truly want it back for that. But you can see the shape it's in. But if you want it, Scott, it is all yours, man. I'm all about everybody in the hobby having some fun doing their thing. And you're good to me. And always be good to your dealers, the people who take care of you. So, Scott, if you want it back, shoot me a text, man. I'll put it back in that pile with Madly coming to you, with the Dwight Gooden rookie card coming to you. Anyway, that's awesome. If it goes to my collection, great. If it goes back to Scott, awesome too, man. We're just all out here trying to have some fun, right? Anyway, what did you like the best? What did you see that you're like, man, that's awesome. Um, that's really cool. Comment. You know, we have a lot of food stuff. We have a lot of regional sets going on over here. We got oddballs. We got announcers. We got in-person autos that I'm probably going to stick some of these in some repacks I'm working on of a bunch of the Cincinnati guys to put in some team bags to give to kids next year at the local schools. So I might slip in some autos uh, of guys who I have doubles of, like a couple of these Bill Dorans. I actually have a couple of his now, so I may slip those in there. Anyway, this is what I found out of a dime box. Totally awesome. Had a lot of fun. Um, comment on what you like. Thank you all for watching. And let me know if you're looking for something in particular. Maybe I'll find it for you. I'll give you a shout out as well. Have a great evening, everyone.